Now we've got to do the branch. What I'll do is I'll do this middle section here for you, show you how this is going to work out. One of the things we've got to think about first of all is creating a round branch. Now what that means is you're going to have to put shadow on the bottom part and lighter on the top. We're going to be having a background here anyway and that will be darker. Now I've got to remember that but just to make sure we've got it right we just put a little bit of white on the top just to give it a little bit more roundness. Now what I'll do is my usual stop start once I've started and narrated all the details I think you'll need. I'm going to go either side of the uh, this needs to be put in here just lightly and with strength where we have the shadow. Now that's the grey. And now I'm going to use another colour which I've used on a previous picture. Um, if I can find it. Um, if I can't. Uh, well I, I can use I can use pink anyway. It's the it's the 189 I'm looking for, and well, I should find that. It, it just, it's just a little stronger than this pink, but for some reason um, I lost it. Um, I've got some pencils out. You see the difference? You've got quite a nice tone there. Now I'm going to add just a little white now as well before we put the stronger colour on. And the stronger colour is going to be the 181. Now here we can start, as we did with the claw, let's get a little bit of colour as to start the ball rolling and then use it. Now branches have all sorts of different details in them. A little bit in there as well. And of course we've also got shadow. For instance, here, yeah, and this will be a shadow here, and there'll be a shadow there. Now remember I said to you we, we'd have to alter and correct the claws, well, you know, this is how it's going to be done. And the other thing we need is a, is a colour, and I'm going to think I'm going to use the uh, 182. Make sure that's a little stronger. See, when is a line not a line? When is a shadow? Now you see, immediately you have the paper creating, the texture of the paper creating a very interesting design there. Now let's go for the the ochre. This is 182. Well, that looks nice. Right. And what about another colour? Well, I think we'll come in with a colour. I did use a, a 193 on the beak. Well, I think it's a nice idea just to put a touch of colour in here too. Right. And then the blending. Now I'm going to use some. Um, in fact, I might use the other colour shape, the grey, um, for no other reason than it's just a little stronger, firmer. And let's just go in here. Now, this is a long old job. It's going to take me a little while. So now I've explained to you the colours. I can get on with it. See how nice that is. In between here and here. Now there will be some shadow here, so let's also put that in. Now we can start off with the two double three. Now this is a shadow of the bird now we have. We've established the, the tone. And we now need to make it just a little darker. Now once again, one eight one would do the job. And I would do this by degrees. I wouldn't do it all 
at once. I'm just going to put just a little touch of 193 in there as well. And then, using colour paper, you darken it. As I was saying, you go by degrees, don't try to do this all in one go. So now I think we need to put some a little bit of light back in. Now I'm going to use white. I'm not going to use the grey. They like grey again. I'm just going to use the white. But this time, bear in mind that we have a branch and we've got to create some texture. And I think I'll make that a little light out there. And it's the backwards and forwards by putting the dark in, then the light in. Let me just show you that again underneath here. As once I've got the center area, I can work either side of it, and you get an idea of how that's got all going to end up. Now, you can sometimes get a little bit of luck. Now, did you see? You probably didn't pick that up. I should have pointed it out to to you. There was a little crack there. Now I didn't deliberately do it. It was just happened to be there. And this is what you can do with this kind of thing. You can you can manufacture little happy accidents. You can see like that. Now that is looking quite spectacular. Need a little bit more strength under there, so let's put just a little more under there. And then I can I can carry on then. Now not only have you got the shadow there, but you're also going to have some shadow on the bird as well. So what I tend to do when I do this is to bring it up. Can you see what I did? I used the shadow that I've got in here, which would have been the colour I would have used in here anyway, 181, and then used the colour shape to drag it in, drag it up there. And if you do this enough times, you get the effect that you want. And of course, what will happen then, as you probably gather, is I will then bring the light back. And I'm going to use a light green. What I'm going to use is, is, is a, a 170. Now, I haven't used 170 yet. 170 is a soft green, but will give us that colour coming back in. And you see now, I've put the shadow in very discreetly, but you can see it. And just to make that just a little bit more obvious, put a little bit more shadow. Now, we've got the shadow in there, it looks great. We've got the beginning of the texture, and that texture I will create, and you'll see it as we go along. Now, we've got to remember we've got the branch coming down here. So whatever we do, it's got to have that dragged down here too. Let's just make that just a little stronger on the bottom. Now I've done that a few times, as you as you could see, and there will be dark because we'll be coming down here with that. There you go, lovely. Okay, so well you can leave it with me. I'm going to show you, show you all, all of it in little bits and pieces. But I, so far, just look, using that one example section, it looks smashing. And I'll continue that, both sides. Well, I've just come in again because I found the 189 almost as soon as I cut the camera off. I saw it. So it is a lovely colour. So I thought I'd just explain to you what I'm doing. I'm using it's these two colours together that seem to make it really attractive. This is the 233 and 189. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to make that just a little stronger at the top there. Because we're going to assume that we're going to make that light, a uh, dark background. Well, it'd have to be dark now. Um, so we can use the white just to make sure we've got enough light on the top of that. Okay, now, that now is 
as I wanted it. So that, with the addition of the 189, it gives it a lovely texture. There's a little bit more depth in there. And that is how I envisaged this would look, folks. And that little crack that I said would just you know, make sure that a little bit of detail like that is really attractive. Right? And you can also follow it if you you like to with a little bit of white as well, just to emphasize it.